So let's start with a prime factorization of 60. Write your number, draw two branches, and you want to pick a pair of factors. That's two numbers that you can multiply to get 60. A pair that is not 1 and 60. Remember, 1 is neither prime nor composite, so you never want to put it in your factor tree because it won't go anywhere. So I'm going to go with 6 times 10. I look at 6. I know that 6 is composite, so I have to break it down. So I draw two branches. I can multiply 2 times 3 to get 6. I know that 2 is prime. I circle it. And 3 is prime. I circle it. 10 is composite, so I have to break it down to 2 times 5. 2 is prime. 5 is prime. You're going to take all the numbers that are in the circle and write them in order from smallest to largest or least to greatest. So that would be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. This is expanded form. To write this in exponential form, you would count up how many repeated numbers you have. So I have 2, 2, so that's 2 to the second power, times 3 times 5. Remember, an exponent is any time you multiply a base times itself. Well, I'm multiplying 2 times itself. So that would be 2, 2. So I have 2 to the second power, which 2 times 2 is 4. So the prime factorization of 60 is 2 times 2 times 3 times 5, or 2 squared times 3 times 5. I'm going to work 60 again, just so you guys remember. Anytime you take a number... It doesn't matter what pair of factors you use, as long as it's not one in the number, you will get the same prime factorization because each prime factorization or each number has a unique prime factorization, just like we each have our own fingerprint. Same for prime factorization. So what if I decided to do 5 times 12 instead? Well, since I did 5 times 12, 5 is prime, so I can circle it. I'm done with that branch. But 12 is composite, so I break it down to 6 times 2. I notice that 2 is prime, so I can circle this. And then I need to break down 6, which becomes 2 times 3. Circle, circle. Again, we want to write our numbers in order from least to greatest. 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. If you notice, these are the same the very same prime factorizations. Please remember, and I know I've stated this before in the past, that the prime factorization, this is the prime factorization. This is the prime factorization. This is a factor tree, okay? Many times kids will do the factor tree and forget the step of writing the prime factorization. You need to know how to write the prime factorization for the test and to be successful. Remember, we use prime factorization to help us simplify fractions. So this shouldn't be new. This should be more of a review skill, if anything. This time, we're just going to be focusing mainly on finding the prime factorization of one number. And we're going to be using some larger numbers. So let's look at the prime factorization of 36. The first thing that comes to mind is 6 times 6. I know that 6 is composite, so I break it down. 2 times 3, 2 times 3. You can work one branch at a time, or you can work both of them at a time, especially if the numbers are the same. So here, 2 is prime, 3 is prime, 2 is prime, 3 is prime. So I'm done. Write them in order. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. This is expanded form. In exponential form, it would be 2 squared times 3 squared because there are two twos and there are three. There are two twos and there are two threes. So this would be our prime factorization in expanded or in exponential form for 36. Again, you don't have to use 6 times 6. You can use any fat pair of factors besides 1 and 36, and you should get the same prime factorization. Let's go a little bit big. Let's go 100. 
So 100, again, you have very many options. Um, if you go small, like two times something, you will have a longer tree. And when you go with the biggest pair of factors, your tree is normally shorter. So let's do both. Let's do 10 times 10. We know 10 is composite. We break it down to 2 times 5. So both of these are prime, circle, 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 circle. Write them in order from least to greatest. 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. So then you want to write that in exponential form. 2 squared times 5 squared. To write the exponent, you're just counting up how many numbers you have, okay? So how many numbers you have will give you your exponent. Let's try the hundreds, but we're going to go the longer route. We're going to do it with two. So if I get 100 and I decided to break it up to 2 times 50, would my tree be longer? So I'm going to circle 2 because it's prime, then I break down 50, and then for 50, I'm going to do 2 times 25, and then I circle it. And then for 25, I'm going to do 5 times 5. Circle, circle. So if you look at it, I have a few bit more branches on this one compared to this one because I use the larger pair of factors. So if you go with the biggest pair of factors, your tree is going to be shorter. If you go with the smaller pair of factors, your tree is going to be a little bit longer, but you'll still get the same answer. So this is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5 or 2 squared times 5 squared. Exactly the same as before. Remember, this is our prime factorization, right? Prime factorization. How do we get our prime factorization? By using a factor tree. Let's do one more and then you are free to practice on your own. So let's go with 42. 42 is 2 times 21. Well, we know that 2 is prime. We circle it. 21 is composite. I think 3 times 7. I know that 3 is prime and 7 is prime, so I circle them. Take all your numbers and write them in order. 2 times 3 times 7. I don't have any repeated numbers, so this is my prime factorization. 2 times 3 times 7. That is it. I hope that this was helpful. Good luck.